This is Chad Warner from Optimwise.com, and I'm going to show you how to use Backup Buddy to back up to Amazon S3. All right, so first you need to have an Amazon Web Services account. Um, if you already have an Amazon account, you can link that up. Otherwise, you can sign up and create a new one. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. All right, first I go to IAM, that's Identity and Access Management, because I need to create a group and a user. So I create a single group that has the right permissions. I'm going to call this Backup Buddy 2 because I already have a Backup Buddy. And I want to assign a policy template. Basically, this is just giving it the permissions that it needs to access uh, my buckets in Amazon. So I'm going to select Amazon S3 full access, continue, continue, continue. OK. I have my group. Uh, that part you only need to do once. Um, I use the same group for all of my sites. Now this next part um, you do for each individual WordPress site. So I create a different user that is linked to each individual site. So I'm going to create a new user and I usually name it after the site. I'm doing this for my site, so optimize. And then create. I'm going to grab these security credentials and save those there. And close, close. All right, now we need to add this user to the group so that the policy applies. It has the right permissions. So I'm going to add the optimized user I just created to the Backup Buddy group. All right, that part is complete. So I can now move on to WordPress. Um, I've already installed the Backup Buddy and configured it. I'm assuming you have too. If you haven't, see my site for a post that has more details on that. I'm going to go over to the Backup Buddy and Remote Destinations. All right, so Amazon 3 is an option here. I'm going to say Add New. And I call this Amazon S3. Now here's where I need my access key and ID. So I'm going to put in my key and secret key. All right, and then bucket name. Uh, this has to be unique um, globally across Amazon S3. So I prepend it with OW for Optimize and then add in the site name, uh, which matches the user I created earlier. So here I'm going to say OW underscore optimize. Uh, I have an archive limit of three. And I want to test these settings, make sure we can connect. It's successful. So I can add this destination. OK, so it has been added. Now what I want to do is go over to my scheduled backups and set these to include Amazon S3. So I'm going to edit my database backup schedule and go to Add Remote Destination. It will then show me my options. Amazon S3 is an option. I select that. Here you'll see it's there. And I'm going to edit this schedule. Destinations previously said none. Now it says Amazon S3. And you can repeat that for any of the scheduled backups that you have so that they back up to Amazon S3. And those are the steps. Um, if you need more details, see the blog post on optimize.com.